Hey everyone, this is Amy with Pretty Presets and I am going to do just a quick little video here to show you a couple things that I'm noticing some comments on in the group. And so I thought I would just do this really quick and then um, this weekend I'm actually gonna go out and make another video that deals uh, more in depth with back button focusing and being able to shoot wide open with uh, keeping people on the same plane and kind of the same stuff that we've been talking about but more in depth. So um, what I wanted to show you are a couple things about um, back button focus and just I've had a couple people that have messaged me about um, you know how I hold my camera, how you you know press the buttons. Um, this is this is what you do. So my son is holding uh, the the cameras to where it's looking at my fingers on the camera right now and so what you do with back button focus is you've released um, both uh, locking focus and uh, taking the picture from uh, your front shutter release button right here so you're gonna have a button on the back here is going to be different for every camera. Um, I have a Canon 60, so it's going to be the um, it's going to be the first of three buttons on the back here for my camera. So what I do is I press that button in when I am locking focus. So I'm going to put my camera up to my eye like this, and I'm going to find what it is I want to lock focus to. So I've got my son right in front of me. He's just one person, so I would um, lock focus right between the eyes. And when I do that, when I'm ready to lock focus, I press down on the button in the back. When I'm ready to take the picture, I press the button in the front. So I press down, take it off, press the button in the front. I do not keep my button holding it down while I press the button in the front, okay? So you press it down, let go, press the button in the front. The only time that you would keep your the back button pressing down is if you are tracking something that is moving. Um, if you're tracking uh, somebody riding a bike, somebody who's swimming, you would keep it down and you would be tracking them and you could take pictures, okay? So, that's how you do that, okay? So you press it down, you lift it up, and you press this button. Um, when it comes to uh, recomposing, that seems to be a new term for some people. Um, and this goes back to understanding how planes work. When you are going to recompose, so, so say I want you to watch the camera and watch what I do with it. So I'm going to put the camera up to my eye. I'm going to take, I want to take a picture of my son. So I'm going to, I'm, I've just locked focus where I want it, it's right between his eyes. But that's not how I want the picture to be composed. But I want my focus right there. I've locked that focus right where I want it, right between the eyes. I've got my center focal point. Um, as my only focus point right now. That's the only one that lights up or beeps or does anything, is that center point. So I've got that one, it's lit up. I've locked focus, but that's not how I want it composed. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move it over just a little bit and take the picture. I'm not going to press my back button again. I don't need to because I've already locked focus. I did that before I moved my camera. I didn't move my feet. I didn't move my body. I didn't put the camera more in front or more in back. All I did was move it over just a little bit, press the shutter button. What is going to happen if I move it, if I move my camera in front of me? I've now changed planes. My camera is now on a different plane. So I've gotta mess the whole thing up. If I move my feet a foot ahead of me, I have now changed planes and I've messed the whole thing up. So recomposing is super, super easy. You press the button 
this is if you're doing back button focus, by the way. Okay, you press the button behind you, move over, take the shot. That's it, that's all there is to it. Don't make things harder than they need to be. Um, we tend to do that sometimes. So just remember to keep things simple and refer back to this if you need to. I will be doing some blog posts and I am gonna do another um, longer video for you so that you will have the chance to watch it over and over and understand how that works, okay? Hope that helps everyone and go out and make something pretty. Thanks everyone.